FBI is now investigating emails from hackers trying to stop the arrests of Food Not Bombs volunteers who serve meals to the homeless. The hackers threatened to shut down Orlando City websites, and they claim to be part of the same group that hacked Sony and even some small countries. But Channel 9's Kenneth Craig found out Food Not Bombs doesn't want anything to do with these hackers. Food Not Bombs says their number one goal is feeding the homeless and that they had nothing to do with these threatening emails sent right here to City Hall. The email threats have been infiltrating the inboxes of city employees for the last two weeks. Hackers promising to take the city of Orlando's website down and turn it into a smoking crater in cyberspace. They say all of this is payback for the recent arrests of Orlando Food Not Bombs members. And we found out now the FBI is involved. What they're doing is they're just creating more problems for us, and we have enough problems to deal with. Orlando Food Not Bombs members say they're not affiliated with the hackers and have no idea who they are. But we got a copy of the emails. One blast came from a group called the People's Liberation Front, the other from the well-known hacking group called Anonymous. We also learned Anonymous has successfully hacked Sony, Bank of America, and just recently attacked Malaysian government sites. So far, 21 Food Not Bombs members have been arrested for serving meals to the homeless at Lake Eola without the proper permitting. And the hackers promise if the arrests continue, they'll completely take down the city's website for good. What we have here is we have a group of people who are hiding in the anonymity of cyberspace. We learned Orlando police and federal authorities have launched investigations. An attorney for Food Not Bombs says instead of arresting their members for feeding the homeless... People who are doing that should be arrested and put in jail. Now, important to note, the city's website was never affected by this, and they say they have no plans to change what they're doing. Food Not Bomb says they're not changing what they're doing either. They'll be right back out at Lake Eola first thing Monday morning. That is the latest in Orlando. Kenneth Craig, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.